how you doing guys, this is Zerai here. So Death Stranding 2 special stage event happened at the TGS 2024 and offered quite a mix of exciting news and some missed expectations. Hosted by Shohei uh, Shibata and features of course Hideo Kojima, alongside the key cast members like uh, Kenjiro Tsuda, a Sam Porter Bridges, the voice actor basically, and Nana Mizuki, Fragile. An event highlighted the creative process behind the upcoming sequel. Despite a higher anticipation, the lack of gameplay footage for the new trailer left many fans, including myself, feeling underwhelmed. The event, which started for me at 3 a.m. for the international viewers such as myself, was entirely in Japanese, with no English translation, making it quite difficult for non-Japanese speakers to follow along. While a few cutscenes were shown, they didn't provide enough context or new information to satisfy the audience's hunger for a deeper look into the game. The absence of significant gameplay reveal was particularly disappointing for those who stayed up late expecting more. However, the event did offer some intriguing glimpses into the game's features. One of the most notable announcements was that the introduction of photo mode, which brings a unique twist in the in-game photography. Now, unlike traditional photo modes that pause the action, Death Stranding 2 photo mode allows players to set up scenes with the character striking random poses, and the resulting photos are printed as in in-game Polaroid pictures. This feature adds a personal, collectible aspect of the game and aligns with Kojima's recurring themes of connection and memory. While this was an interesting reveal, it felt like a side feature compared to the larger gameplay elements fans were hoping to see. Another significant highlight was that the announcement of a collaboration with the acronym that Berlin-based fashion brand founded by Erlson Hu, uh, Hu took the stage to reveal that the jackets worn by the characters in Death Stranding 2 will not only be available in-game but also for purchase in the real world. Detail in these jackets, both in-game and of course in real life, was quite impressive, and the cast even more, well basically they modeled while actually wearing them on stage. Hugh emphasized that the collaboration was just about merging storytelling and fashion, allowing players to connect with the game's world in both virtual and physical spaces. And I quote, J91WSDB jacket designed in collaboration with Kojima's production and Yoji Shinkawa is now actually available to, for the purchase on the acronym's official website. But I did hear it's already kind of sold out, that's quite insane. In terms of the new characters, the event introduced Ellie Fanning as Tomorrow, <laughs> very interesting name, naming scheme, uh, Shiori uh, Kutsuna as Rainy, and George Miller as Tarman, the captain of the DHV Magellan crew. These new roles add depth to the Death Stranding 2's cast, continuing Kojima's tradition for blending Hollywood talent with video games. The introduction of these characters provides hints at the evolving narrative, but without gameplay or even trailer, it was quite difficult to see how they will fit into the broader story. The event also marked the announcement of the special Death Stranding uh, exhibition to celebrate the game's 5th anniversary. The exhibition held in collaboration with the Parco uh, will showcase a rare production materials and offer fans interactive experiences, including a photo area with Ludens, the Kojima's production's mascot. The exhibition will tour several parko locations in Japan, beginning at the Shibuya Parko and then moving on to Nagoya and Shinsai Bashi. This is an exciting opportunity for fans in Japan to engage with the Death Stranding universe in a more tangible way. But for the international fans, this part of announcement well, wasn't exactly that impactful. To close out the event, a renowned singer and a songwriter, Daichi Miura, performed this new song, Horizon Dreamer. The performance was accompanied by in-game visuals of Dollman replicas acting as the backup dancers, creating a visual engaging finale. While Miura's performance added a unique artistic flair to the event, it didn't make up for the lack of gameplay. Now I'm gonna keep on mentioning it. <laughs> In addition to the live event, Hideo Kojima also announced a Koji 10, a Hideo Kojima radio, a new weekly radio show where Kojima will discuss various topics related to his work and gaming industry. The show will air on TBS radio starting on October the 2nd and will last about 10 minutes per episode. While this is an interesting side of the project, it felt more like a minor announcement compared to the larger expectations surrounding Death Stranding 2. 
Now here's the little details that I definitely wanted to include into this commentary. This is coming after the stage, this showcase stage, and I'm kind of glad the way that I waited. Because after the translation and more people found out and also reported this information relating to Death Stranding 2's release. Hideo Kojima said that Death Stranding 2 is still planned to release in 2025. He says he will announce the release date at some point next year. And, and I quote, It's an even weirder game than Death Stranding 1, and he laughs about it. I'm making it with the feeling of it, they're even a game like this. Whatever that means. <laughs> Now, emphasizing that, there's also some reports relating that with his statement, it seemed to be implying that Death Stranding 2 will be coming late of 2025. He mentioned that about 70% of the motion capture work was done and that he's fine-tuning the game and balancing every day. But there's still a lot to be potentially added by the actors and voice actress. In all honesty, it seems like we'll have to wait a little longer than anticipated. I was actually hoping that Death Stranding 2 will be released sometime in May of 2025, but yeah, so it seems like it's going to be even after that, after summer. I think it can be quite risky to release Death Stranding 2 relatively close to Grand Theft Auto 6. Maybe they're not really, you know, thinking about that. But for the fans and of course the people that are waiting for Grand Theft Auto, well, that is a possibility nevertheless. Thank you so much for watching guys, like and subscribe, see you guys all and have a wonderful day. そうだな、サム。よく来てくれた。お。久しぶりだな。調子はどうだ。このパワーアシストがあれば見てろ、いつでも。どこでも。安心して進展してきる。ベッドももう必要なくなった。5年ぶり Tokyo Game Show. Arigato. Hm.